Hello everyone and welcome back. It's been one of those dreary days here in Minnesota where it kind of sprinkles and it's just been yucky. We are supposed to get an inch of rain or more today, which didn't happen. It kind of stayed out west, so I'm going to have to turn the sprinkler on in the garden. But it is uh, sprinkling out a little bit right now, but one thing I haven't done yet this season here in Minnesota is went out mud bugging and I think it's time. Well, now that I have my crayfish clone on, my 40% DEET, definitely going to need that down there. I'd like to get my shoes and all the way up to my knees real good to keep wood ticks off you. And uh, mosquitoes, I don't know, they're not bad at the house today, but you never know when you get down by the river. week has got the water pretty high. Yeah, you're doing really good. Um, I mean, you must have five, seven pounds there, you know? Yeah, and drive to do it just for a, I want to make a camping event out of it for sure. Oh, last time, because yeah, last time I had to pick up like some shrimp and a bunch of other stuff to throw in within the boiler. Well, I just talked for maybe 20 minutes to a guy that's down here trapping. His name is Joe also. And actually, he's watched the videos here. This is the first time he's ever trapped here. He's been here a couple times and didn't have any traps out, so and he didn't do too bad, so good for him. This tree was not down this far last year. Now a good place to put it is going to be right. You can see that current right there, but putting it right next to that log that's kind of in the water, that might be a good spot. But I think I'll go all the way down here while wow, that water really is high and set it up in that far spot because that's hit or miss. But sometimes you do really good, sometimes you don't do good at all. All right, well that's one trap in, but like I said, this water is high. There's more current in this area than there usually is, but who knows? Okay, so that was the farthest one. I'm gonna set one up right here, and then one right over there. For bait this time, I've got fish. It's frozen, so it'll take a while for it to completely get unthawed, and that should draw them in pretty good. Two down, one to go. We'll come back tomorrow and see how we did. Uh, Joe showed me how he used the zip ties to make the traps and also that's what he does to the door so if anybody tampers with it they really have to work at it to get it open. They can't just open it and dump them. So he left me a bag of zip ties, that was really nice. And he likes to do this uh, crayfishing because he watched the videos. That's really cool. Okay everyone, well like I said, we'll be back out there tomorrow afternoon to check them. 
And if Joe didn't catch them all, <laughs> we ought to have a few in the traps. Well, it's the next day. It's actually been about 20 hours. Let's go back out there and check those traps. I'm gonna get out here and put some bug spray on and we'll head down to the river. It looks like that one is still there. I think we'll go all the way down to the far one first. It's a little bit harder to get to. Look at that load. <laughs> Holy crap. Nice. Not bad for one trap. Well, I threw the trap back in. It's Friday right now, tomorrow's Saturday. It's kind of against my better judgment to leave them because a lot of people come down to the river sometimes on a Saturday, but maybe I'll get lucky and not that many people will show up and they'll leave my traps alone. Too many in that one, maybe a dozen. There's probably 30 in this one anyway, maybe a few more than that. All right, let's head home and count these up and see how many we ended up with. Tomorrow I'll come back out, pull the traps, and see what we got in them. There won't be as many. I mean, you can even tell here on this side. I know that that other Joe probably had a trap over by that tree. Probably had one. I know he had one right here because we saw that yesterday. But on that very far end, I probably had a trap in a different area than he did. So that's why we did so well. But anyway, uh, the bait will be gone by tomorrow, so it'll be perfect. And Melissa's down this weekend. Might have to boil some up tomorrow afternoon. back and count them and see how many we got. Well, we have 148 today. All right, well, tomorrow afternoon we'll go back out, empty the traps and pull them and we'll see how we did. It's 3.54 in the afternoon the following day. 76 degrees outside. Let's go pull those traps.
water has dropped about a foot since I set these two days ago. Well, that one only had 12 in it, but with that water dropping, it's like putting the trap in a whole different area. It was quite shallow. trap right there only had eight in there. You really can't beat that first day with that fresh fish bait. That's when they like it the best. Well, thanks a lot for watching, everybody. I might even come out and do this again next weekend. This was the first weekend I was home in a long time. I'm home the next two weekends, so you might find me back here at the river. guys on the next video. That added 37 more to our catch.